Uh, do you always have to change the EGR valve with the uh, EGR cooler? What? Talking about that overhaul that we got lined up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so, uh, do you want to talk about what's happening here? Yeah, we had quotes for... This is half a million, just clocked in. Yeah. yeah. What was it, EGR cooler insufficient, I believe? Yes. Uh, EGR cooler's clogged up, the EGR valve is uh, acting up. We, the, the only difference, we decided to do with the drivers off for a week. We've been driving with it for some time. Yeah, it's been it's been a while, and it hasn't been acting up. No, no D other than new race, nothing like that. So we decided to uh, do it right now because he's off. But um, this truck, I don't. That's that's the only thing here we got. We it's bought it. He was driving. It showed up, and then three weeks later, it's the same thing. It's probably one of the biggest repairs that we've done yet so far on these. To these two the on the uh, light blue ones. Yeah, yeah. And so people, we did have one with the cracked uh, DPF module that we welded up. We like did. Majority, we're, yes. we've been addressing. Yeah. Have you checked it on this one? No, I haven't checked it. Uh, this one's there. This one needs to be done. It needs to be welded. Yeah. It needs to be yeah. Um, but let's talk about two, uh, two things. Two things. One thing. Uh, what if you get that EGR uh, cooler? code what is something that somebody should do and how should they go about it fixing it as what are options uh, options other you than can, uh, either send the egr cooler to get cleaned out look for oem uh, cooler or there's an aftermarket option obviously you know you're taking a risk yeah putting the aftermarket in there uh cleaning it out if it's salvageable sometimes they're cleanable sometimes they're, they're cracked and that's not and they'll be able to tell you right yeah, when they take it to, for cleaning you. Uh, do you always have to change the EGR valve with the uh, EGR cooler? Not necessarily, uh, but at the mileage that we have right now, what, half, half a million, million that yeah. valve is, it's still the, old, the same valve. It doesn't look like it's been replaced, so then the valve is what it's going for, it's, pr it's pretty pricey. That is pretty pricey. Pretty, yeah. So we'll swap that out and uh, get this clean and then see that the cheaper version, I mean the last the cheapest scenario yeah out of everything out of buying all new um uh, all new parts yeah that that unit had what like 350 around there yeah. mileage yes so that that egr valve should be yeah. fine Other if i'm not mistaken it was one of the ones that we saw that was recently re uh, replaced we had a couple could of those be. on those white ones white yeah. ones yeah okay could be what else do we have here we're pretty happy with those trucks i'm very happy with those trucks yeah other than the what the long frame, I don't know. Have you had any guys complain about that at all? Driving no, some city? guys are hitting stuff, but nothing crazy. Um, we only had one issue, which was the uh, fifth wheel cylinder. That one. It got hit. It got hit. It, yeah, but that was. I mean, it, it happens. Yeah. That was the driver error. Brakes. We haven't had a, any brake issues with these. They're the disc brakes. Yeah. No brake yeah. chamber going on them. Knock on wood. We <laughs> do have. Yeah. So far, so good, I guess. We yeah. Not a lot. Other than that, I just told you we have an overhaul coming, so. You know I'm excited for that, yes, right? Yes, I know you are. You're not. Uh, but, no, we had uh, one of our Detroits actually is uh, is not, uh, it's getting towed back. What, what, pushed what was, what's, what's water. Um, it was knocking. He pulled over when he started hearing the knock, but he saw the coolant uh, coming out somewhere. I think he was parked and then um once he checked checked the dipstick it just poured out of the dipstick liner fitting crack liner so i just call like a crack liner something yeah. something inside yeah. Is. yeah yeah so i'm i'm very excited about that project uh, especially with the one that finished in the back but that's fine uh this is about your d13 egr cooler if you have that this is some of the options you can do um i think the clean is like Clean them out like 400 bucks, roughly, more or less. Yeah. So it's just a labor to get it out. Got to remove the turbo. And uh, 
do we do not recommend deleting it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, share, and talk to you soon.